Hey, what's up guys, Rev here. So today I'm gonna to share a story about Bungie, an American game company that recently went woke, instantly got dragged on social media for it, and then the preceding day, a lawsuit started popping up involving Bungie. Now, I use the term woke very sparingly, okay? I think a lot of times it's overused to the point of being cringe, but I can't think of a phrase that better describes the word that we're focusing on today, and that word is Latin X. Now, for those who don't know, Latin X is a term that a bunch of woke Americans with a white savior complex came up with. It was supposed to be a genderless term for Latin American or Hispanic people. But here's the problem with Latin X. Hispanic people hate it. In fact, only 2% of Hispanics use the term and 40% of them find it offensive. So what do you do when you're some smug woke person who came up with this term and you find out that the subjects of it find it offensive? Well, you say screw it and you just keep using it because you know better than these minorities, right? Yeah, that's the attitude these people have. And quite frankly, it is not only offensive, but it's just embarrassing. And unfortunately, Bungie has hopped on the train and they made this absolute stinker on Twitter saying, being Latin slash A-E-O-X is more than just a location on the map, just as being Hispanic is more than the language we might speak. Now, of course, you can see they instantly got fact-checked. The community notes struck again, and they struck gold. They did exactly what people wanted, and you can see the number of quotes down here. This tweet got brutalized on social media, and rightfully so. Now, I can't think of a better place to start than this quote right here, this person saying, Bungie refuses to acknowledge that Latinx is essentially a slur, instead hides the comments and blocks everyone who calls them out. Yeah, you know, what uplifts minorities more than calling them a slur and then silencing them? I mean, that's literally what happens in this situation. This isn't even racism, this is like advanced racism, you know? I heard several Hispanic people talking about Latinx share these kinds of thoughts where it's almost more frustrating than a situation where you're called a, a conventional slur because you understand that situation. It's obviously out of a place of hatred. But with Latinx, it's different. Not only are you being called a slur, but the person calling you the slur is smugly doing it and they genuinely believe that they're doing the right thing in the process and that they're uplifting you. There's something about that process that some people claim is even more frustrating than the conventional situations. But yeah, mentioning the hiding of replies, they hid every single reply, hundreds of them, that were disagreeing with them. And you can see the amount of likes on just this random sample. They're completely ratioing the, the initial tweet. And it's just people simply saying, I don't like this. I mean, it's absolutely crazy and cowardly. But looking at other quotes, we saw a lot of these kind of memes. And they're, they're real, okay? Like... Uh, from every Hispanic person I know, they would go into a violent rage if you called them Latinx, and for good reason, as we've talked about so far in this video. I mean, it is an absolute joke. It is clear that Hispanic people do not want to be called this term, a term they find to be a slur. And we have another tweet like this saying, this is tight, but please don't entertain the term Latinx. I'd rather you just call me slurs like every other American corporation. I mean... At this point, that'd be a better strategy than calling uh, people Latinx. But I would pay an unfathomable amount of money to have a recording of the meeting at Bungie where this all took place. Can you imagine, like, you got, like, a room full of, like, middle-aged white people and you got, like, uh, one guy standing in, in the front of the room saying, uh, no, listen up, guys, uh, we, uh, we need to come up with a new campaign to uplift minorities and also make people forget about the fact that we're facing multiple discrimination lawsuits. Uh, does anyone have any ideas? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, that's a great idea, Jim. Um, I actually have an idea. We can uplift minorities by calling them slurs. Well, that's a great idea, Billy. Uh, well, we'll just call them Latinx, and they'll like it, and silent, we'll just silence anyone who disagrees. Yeah, I really like Latinx people. I can't even take a bite of a burrito without thinking of Latinx people. <laughs> you get my point, okay? Like, these people are, they, they probably think they're culturally enriched if they order a meal from Taco Bell. Like, these people are an absolute joke. And we have more quotes here saying, or replies here, pointing out another thing going on with some companies. Apparently, Google 
is now auto translating phrases like Latin American or um, Hispanic to Latinx. Yeah, needless to say, I don't think Google has any business doing this. And again, relying on Google Translate for anything, you're pretty much setting yourself up for failure. But uh, here's another quote saying, teacher says that every time Latinx is said, a Hispanic gets a right wing, uh, gets right wing radicalized. And that is also true. But I would also point out that the media would likely call the uh, right wing Hispanic person white. But that's a story for another day. Uh, here's another quote. This one really just kind of sums this all up in a neat little package. It says, I can't be the only one who thinks hiding replies to this tweet, the majority of which are from the Latino community, speaking out on the against the use of the word Latinx is a really poor reaction from Bungie. Listen to the people you are trying to highlight. Don't silence them. Because that's what this is. This whole campaign is silencing the people that they're supposedly uplifting. And honestly, the fact that the tweet is still up to this day is mind boggling. They have gotten so much backlash on this that I can't even fathom. They must have a humiliation fetish on the uh, account that they have here, their official account. Whoever's running this has a humiliation fetish because there's no other explanation as to why this tweet would still be up with the beating it's taken. Now, a lot of people have looked at the situation where, you know, a company suddenly comes out of nowhere and starts using woke terms like Latinx and they think to themselves, what are they hiding? What are they hiding? What are they setting up here? Well, this tweet was initially made a couple days ago and within only a few days, we got the answer as to why they're trying this whole campaign. They're facing a lawsuit for discrimination. Okay, so apparently a former HR manager is raising claims that they were wrongfully terminated for a potential racial discrimination situation. So if you look at the article, basically what happened is the person who was the former HR manager was told to investigate an employee because they were underperforming or something like that. And after talking with that employee, they found out that that employee was essentially the only minority in their entire branch. And they felt like they were being treated differently and unfairly because they were a minority. And when this HR manager raised this concern to the company, they were let go. Yeah, that doesn't look very good if these things are true. And as it turns out, that's not even the first time that they've dealt with a discrimination uh, claim. Back in 2021, apparently, there was a whole host of former employees who came forward and alleged that the company had a history of allowing toxic culture to fester, including racial and gender bias. Yep, we knew this all along. This whole thing was just an attempt to sweep stories like this under the rug and to make themselves look very progressive when it turns out that their company is not only raising another uh, act of using slurs with Latinx, but they have a history of doing this sort of stuff and being unfair and really just toxic towards minorities. And they really just shot themselves in the foot. Honestly, this lawsuit probably would have swept largely under the rug, but because of the attention that was driven towards that Latinx post, it only elevated this story because now it's the part two and the basically the, uh, the punchline of this entire situation. But yeah, that is today's video. Latinx, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, but uh, please share all of your thoughts about that and everything we covered in today's video in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time.